Okay, now we've got the SenseCap M1. Stick around, we're gonna do an unboxing, we're gonna do a setup. We'll talk a little bit about how we can upgrade the antenna. We'll go through the uh, Seed website, which is the name of the company that sells the SenseCap M1. And we're gonna uh, go through kind of some of the options that you get for, for some of the upgrades. So stick around. All right, well, so look, first off is pretty decent documentation for the setup. It seems to be real simplistic. Um, it looks like it follows a very similar method as a lot of the other miners that are out there. So there's the getting started. All right, so it looks like it's a 2.6 dBi antenna. Our power cord. And then here's the miner. I can already tell that it's a metal body, metal case. All right, so. Looks like it has all the typical stuff on the back. It's got our ethernet port right here. Um, it looks like it has, um, uh, would be the Bluetooth button right here. And then the RPSMA female connection right here. Oh, I can already tell on the inside that there's a fan inside. Heat sink and a cooling fan. All right, that's cool. Uh, so that's the SenseCap unit. So why don't we go ahead and do the installation? What do you say? Okay, so the first step is going to be downloading the Helium app onto your phone. Uh, you can get that e either as uh, uh, from the Google Play Store or you can get it from the uh, Apple Store um, in either one of the operating systems. So go ahead and download that Helium app and go ahead and do the setup. Okay, the next step is you're going to go ahead and pull the unit out. We're going to go ahead and uh, t attach the antenna. Uh, so gently attach that antenna and then also plug in the power cord, get it all powered up. Press the button for five seconds until the LED turns to a slow flash mode. There we go. Now that's a slow flash mode. Now it's in, now that's in Bluetooth mode now. So now that you have your miner in basically pairing mode, uh, it's got the Bluetooth blue button on the back, it's doing a slow flash mode. Uh, then you're gonna open up the app on your phone. Open up your Helium app um, and you are going to uh, set up the hotspot and, and you're gonna choose the SenseCap M1. So once you've done that, uh, then it'll take you to the next step where you will uh, select scan for hotspot and it's going to go through a little process here and it's going to uh, search for the hotspot, the M1, and it'll uh, display that on your uh, phone screen. So once it's found your, your hotspot, then you're going to go through a couple of different steps here. One is going to be set up your Wi-Fi and that's pretty much just like any other Wi-Fi setup that you might have uh, where you will uh, select the, the network and then input the password. So if you decide you don't want to use the, uh, the Wi-Fi network at the location where you're installing the hotspot and you want to use Ethernet instead, then you simply select Use Ethernet instead at the bottom. Okay, so when you go to the Seed M1 website uh, to pick up your miner, and it's right here you're obviously going to go through the checkout process for your uh, specific miner for your specific frequency uh, for your area, and you know, the, the most important part here is you got to make sure you pick the right frequency for your location. And here you'll see that uh, all the frequencies are listed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick the US 915 for the, for the US market. And uh, what it does is just really great. They've done a really, really nice job setting up this website because uh, they've also, once you've picked it, it automatically populates below this listing right down in this section here, all the compatible antennas that you can get to upgrade your miner. Uh, so they here they have basically four different uh, DBI sized uh, antennas, and they've got the three, uh, the 5.8, the seven, and the eight DBI antennas right there, all set up for the proper frequency. So you don't have to have any of that guesswork for uh, picking the right uh, antenna for your specific miner. So, but you know what even is even better is that they already come with a hardware kit. And they come with a piece of coax that is uh, properly uh, set up for all the proper connections. So, I mean, you really kind of, it's a, kind of a one-stop shopping a little bit. And, you know, you're going to end up wanting to do some different things possibly with grounding or you might want to do some different things with uh, masts to, uh, mast to get your antenna up a little bit higher. Uh, but this is a really great way to get started. And for the prices here, I, I think it's really reasonable uh, that, that they offer these different options. So, uh, so yeah, you can upgrade your uh, miner right here when you do the checkout. Uh, and go ahead and pick the, you can click the link in the description section of this video and make sure that you get to the right location. So, um, 
that's what I have today. So, hey, the M1 is a super nice unit. Um, I'm going to be excited to get it going. Uh, also, you can click those links and you can, we're going to do a little bit of a review on these antennas also to maybe show them off a little bit and see what they look like. So, thanks for being here and we'll see you next time. Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter turned on in the video settings. Uh, you might want to uh, uh, take, take we're a trying look. To, we're tr can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's, I'm here live. I'm not, I'm not a cat. I can I can see that.